Welcome everyone to Gamer Mill. Don't worry, I'm not dead. Just took a small weekend vacation. I was hoping to post a video while I was out, but I never really got the chance. Either way, I'm happy to be back, and I'll either do two videos today or one today and one tomorrow to catch up. But first, don't forget to get your 14 nanometer plus 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 infinity cups at store.gamermill.com. Oh, and I'll announce the 100,000 subscriber giveaway later this week. Okay, enough intro, let's just get to the news. First up for today, we know AMD isn't done with Threadripper as the company itself confirmed this, but if a recent leak is accurate, AMD is going big. According to a trusted source from WCCF Tech, the company is planning to release a monster of a CPU with a 64-core Threadripper chip, and they actually plan on releasing it towards the end of the fourth quarter this year. Yeah, if you thought 32 cores was plenty, AMD begs to differ. With that said, the company is clearly getting to a very small group of users, to the point of where I begin to question who this is for. I mean, there aren't many applications that can fully utilize so many cores. But of course, that begs the question of whether it's only because we don't have these CPUs until now. And I'd argue it's a yes and no. Fully utilizing that many cores in parallel is quite hard to do, though we will likely see more and more as time goes on. WCCF Tech Source also states that AMD is working on a new platform for the upcoming chips, which for now is called the X599, but with Intel's upcoming platform they're apparently thinking about changing it, though they plan on at least keeping the 99 suffix. Either way, if AMD is doing anything, they're definitely upping core counts across the industry. Next up for today, it looks like AMD will in fact be releasing next-gen mid- and low-tier motherboards with the B550 and A520 chipsets. In a recent report by DigiTimes, AMD is sourcing the chips from As Media, who's also working on PCI Express 4.0 in the hopes of getting new contracts after losing the chance to make the X570. Unfortunately, it seems the B550 and A520 will only support PCI Express 3.0, which isn't too odd considering how expensive the X570 boards are looking to be almost exclusively because of their support for the new standard. I'd expect the B550 to rely on better VRMs for higher third gen Ryzen overclocking to sell more boards, but I'm not sure about the A520. Either way, shipments to OEMs are planned for the fourth quarter of this year, so unfortunately I wouldn't expect boards based on them all that soon. Next up, while sticking to upcoming AMD motherboards, if this find is accurate, the CEO of MSI wasn't joking when he said AMD is pushing for the high end. A new board was first tweeted out by a developer from the DRAM calculator for Ryzen, who included an image that stated, quote, X590 coming soon. Unfortunately, that's been taken down, but as usual, taking something down doesn't really confirm or deny anything. Don't worry though, because a user from the computer-based forum has found evidence of the board in a Gigabyte BIOS update where it's mentioned next to the X570. Unfortunately, we don't know too much about it, but with the fact that it was mentioned in an AM4 BIOS update, it's clearly not an X599 board. And an educated guess would say that we should expect more PCI Express 4.0 lanes as well as better VRMs and a higher price tag, unfortunately. Lastly, in the world of AMD motherboards, which is apparently what today's video is about, it appears the X570 isn't actually a replacement for the X470. Reported by Tom's Hardware, AMD states that it, quote, slots in as a higher tier. Now, that's really quite interesting, since it means the X470 will actually live right alongside the X570. And honestly, I think this is a really good move because the X570 is clearly going to be expensive, and anyone who isn't all that excited for faster SSDs may not want to go that way. Now, you could think this nullifies the B550 report, but I think it's really just a way to give users an option until the B550 makes its way to users. Ultimately though, we'll have to wait and see. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Excited for new motherboards or are you just pumped for a 64 core behemoth? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.